Today now marks one year since 13 U.S. service members were killed in a terrorist attack outside the airport in Kabul, Afghanistan. One of those killed, East Tennessee native, Staff's Army Sergeant Ryan Knauss. He was a Gibbs High School grad, joined the military right after school. Today his family was in Fort Bragg. That's where he was stationed. Sam Luther caught up with his dad. Sam, what's the family doing to remember their son now? Well, Ted, Greg Knauss and his wife Lene's day started at 630 this morning sharply in Fort Bragg. Ryan loved working out, so his family this morning, along with Ryan's friends in the military, took part in a workout with some extra special meeting. Each workout meaning something in particular. Now, while a day like today is undoubtedly tough, spending it with some of the people Ryan was closest with in Fort Bragg, a huge help for a grieving family. It's always in the back of my mind. For Greg Knaus, every day comes with a new set of challenges. You know, some days I wake up earlier than I want to and I'm laying there and more often than not, I start, uh, start thinking about Ryan. August 26, 2022 marks one year since Staff Sergeant Ryan Knaus lost his life serving his country overseas. For his family, it's been a roller coaster year watching Ryan being honored by his hometown while also being constantly reminded of a day that sometimes they wish they could forget. You'll never forget. I'm, I'll never forget. Uh, but sometimes I think a part of you wants to put part of that journey in the rearview mirror and, and keep going. Out of this pain has come some good. In these solemn moments of memorial, Greg Knaus has gotten to meet some of Ryan's closest friends in the military. It's, it's huge. You know, when they told us last year that you're a part of our family, uh, we realized it, but we realize it even more as time goes by. Sharing stories that over Ryan's five-year military service, his dad might not have even known about. I remember him more for the 18 years that I had him. A relationship that's helped this family over the last year. For Ryan's dad, he doesn't know if it'll get any easier. Remembering Ryan as the Gibbs student and fun-loving kid he was, taking it all one day at a time. I've said it before a lot of times that uh, I was blessed to be his dad. He's, uh, he was a blessing. He's, uh, miss him a lot. You heard it there. One day at a time has been the consistent message for this family. It's uncharted waters for them. In fact, now you've heard us talk about all the memorials and ways that people here in East Tennessee have honored Ryan Knauss over the last year. And while Greg, his dad, says that they're obviously super appreciative of all of them, he says it can be taxing for that family going to every single one, having to relive that painful day that happened just one year ago. Um, obviously, some of those incidents, uh, some of those days, memorials, make them smile on one day. Every other day, however, on any given day, it can be a much more solemn reaction. They're obviously telling us they're super grateful for anybody that's wished them well over the past year, uh, really saying thank you to those East Tennesseans, Ted. It'd be difficult, but in, in some ways for the parents, keeps their son alive, at least the memory in some ways. Sam, thanks a lot.